To buy those high tides, no doubt about it. Meteorologist James Hopkins joins us. You are tracking the tropics right now. Yeah, and, and it's funny because we talked about the first two weeks of September. Boring. We like it that way. Yeah, I'm not, com I, I, <laughs> not complaining. <laughs> but that's only the third time that's happened since the satellite era in the 60s that we've had no nothing in the tropics for the first two weeks. And now, of course, you know, things got to wake up and we're watching quite a bit of activity out there. Let's get right to it because, again, we have been talking about, of course, Hurricane Gabrielle. And it's a Category 4 storm, 130 mile per hour winds moving to the east northeast at 21 miles an hour. And you can tell when it picks up this speed, that means it's getting picked up by the jet stream and it's going to quickly move its way up and out, which again, this wasn't a bother to us. It, it did have some impacts for Bermuda, but luckily it was just some high surf because they were on, of course, the western side. But you can see gradually weakening and you can see it's going to be a problem for Spain, Portugal as a pretty strong low as we go through next weekend. So again, it's a lot of activity going on now watching these two systems here for potential tropical development. You see 60 to 90% potential. This one has a high chance for development and there's another one back behind it and you can see it kind of moving its way up towards the Bahamas. This one even has a medium chance for tropical development. So let's talk about this one first. This is 93 L 30 mile per hour winds moving to the northwest at 14 and the good news is forecast models suggesting it taking a very similar track as Gabrielle. So that's good news as it's going to move its way towards Bermuda. Unfortunately, not good news for Bermuda, but better news, of course, for us. Now, a little bit closer to home is potentially this one. This one's 94, same 30 mile per hour winds moving to the west at about 12 miles an hour and expected, as you can see, Puerto Rico, Haiti, Dominican Republic. Not all the forecast models have it living past that. Some do. The European model is one of them, and it shows it potentially skirting close to the coast. So, of course, keep a very close eye on all of this as we go throughout this week next weekend and again the following week as well.